boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Tighten it up. On a Sunday. What up, what up? Peace. Everybody's here right away. <laughs> I got interviews for y'all. Said car 88 been bumping that all week. What's the science? Maintaining, weight training, no complaining. You know how to dribble do it. In here trying to break a sweat. What's going on? He said they finally sent the notifications. YouTube has been bugging the fuck out lately. I just uploaded a video of me recording one of my podcast episodes in the booth. They wouldn't even monetize it. <laughs> I ain't even do that. Boom, boom, boom. What's the diet like? I ate Rican food last night. <laughs> Plantanos, red beans and rice. Good morning, everybody that's here. Make sure y'all share this live stream. We'll kick it with y'all for a minute. Then I'm um, get back to the business. It's a cardio workout. Mandatory. Mandatory. Or it ain't gonna look right. Got me on a Stairmaster. Alkaline water in a cart. Disintegrator. You know. Came here to win. He said they penalizing you in advance. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, gully, the gym don't open for 50 minutes. I'm waiting on my smoke west west coast time. I hear you. I'm just getting over COVID. Virus is no joke. Can't wait to get back in the gym. Why wait? Go blood to sweat. Run that shit up out of you. You should whatever happened to Anubis to coach. Coach is in like DC, Maryland area doing um, open mic stand up poetry now. He doing poet uh, poetry. Sandy said, fight through the screens. I am. I am, I am. On a Sunday. It be all kind of shit going on in my real personal life. And I just, you know what I mean? My doctor said, 30 minutes of cardio gets out two days of toxins out of your body. Sounds right. Take a morning. skating last night he said cardio mandatory minimum <laughs> I went roller skating last night skating is a cardio exercise straight up especially roller blades but um, I'm gonna add that to my workout this summer roller skating just gotta find some place to skate at I already talked about slim 400 I feel the same way about him that I feel about all the um, deaths in the hip-hop community. He said, get them sprints. These is um, actually more intense. He said, get them uphill sprints. I'm on a Stairmaster. It don't get no more uphill than this. <laughs> it don't. If I don't step, this shit gonna throw me to the ground. Some things I wanna talk about, but I'm gonna wait to see if y'all take me there. Youngstown, what up? My man says, Soul Skate Saturday. 
I took, um, I went with the kids and shit. And um, I seen a lot of daddies there, a lot of street niggas there being fathers and shit. Thought it was dope. Man said three to 12 minute rounds of jumping rope. That's in my arsenal. Shaheen Lil Vicious, fire. <laughs> Peace to you. Just trying to get my dribble right, man. You know what I mean? When they when they take days off, I'm on and shit. On purpose. Rappers dying at a rapid rate. Or is the street guys that become rappers? Probably that. Street guys that become rappers. Yeah, they found his nut ass guilty of five charges. He deserved whatever they do to him, dummy. Nigga was an actor earning a living and goes off and put a fucking noose around his head <laughs> for nothing. The investigator said this boy did this shit for no reason at all. Dream work, what up? Shout out to everybody that got memberships. I told y'all this week I'm gonna start servicing y'all memberships. So be on the lookout. Will we pull Jussie's black card? We don't fuck with him. Black people don't fuck with that clown, yo. There's people who are traumatized by seeing nooses and um, scenarios of someone being hanged. Nobody fuck with that bozo. Why all them other boys on YouTube acting like they was in old boy Jalen? And Molly and Stephen A. Bad and shit. What's wrong with these busters? <laughs> there's a lack of there's a lack of potent content. There's a lack of pertinent content, and that's when you see niggas just doing some dumb shit. I take pride that um I'm not mixed up in that. He said, I listened to the Sadat X podcast five times. Thank you. Thank you. I've got like six episodes up. He said, them Lakers. I'm saving it. I'm saving it, and it's going to go down on Gully TV Sports. Just be beware. My man said, burpees, chin-ups, one-mile run. Sounds like a plan. He said AD need to step up and carry the Lakers. LeBron and Westbrook get busy. Westbrook get busy, yo. Westbrook get busy. For real. One of the top niggas, man. Like, he's a bear. That little nigga's a bear, yo. Trying to get his little turnover thing in order. People try to put more emphasis than that on the other three statistical categories. That he doubles in on the regular. Keep 10 assists or better. Keep 10 boards or better. He said Westbrook definitely get busy. Yeah. I'm proud of him, man. He fought through that. People was trying to end him. Good morning to you, pimp. I ain't catch your name. Carmelo playing like he want to ring. Lala coming back. He don't want that bitch. AD need to learn how to do a drop step, dunk, a drop step. Just, he need a drop step, man. The way basketball players play ball now is different. If I was on his team, me and him would have already got into it. Got into it. We would have already got into it. I would have froze him out. I'm like, damn, Mill, you don't be giving me the rock. I'm not going to give you the rock until you get your ass in the paint. If you think you're gonna get this ball, you're gonna get it off the glass like a real big man because we're not passing you shit unless you on the blocks. Now get your ass down there. And if you got a problem, nigga, you can see me in a locker room. See, that's the responsibility of a point guard and shit. That shit I had to do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the first one. I'm the first one you're gonna get into it with. More vocal than the coach. The coach ain't on the court. 
the co coach ain't on the court running up and down the, you know, the court while you bullshitting. So. Aside from that, they got to play defense too. Damn, I just cruised through this first 10 with y'all. Appreciate that. AD got a bad back. Go sit down. DeAndre Jordan can do what I'm asking. DeAndre Jordan can do it. Put DeAndre down there. DeAndre loves it down there. Put him down there. Him or Howard. Put them niggas down there. Put AD on a bench. You like it on a bench, my nigga? Yeah. He said street clothes. <laughs> Call him street clothes. <clears throat> My OG partner said, stop doing sit-ups and do planks. I agree with your OG. He said, hey, do you like wearing sport coats to the game? <laughs> Y'all share this live. I'm on Twitter. I'm Gully TV One. Come fuck with me on Twitter. I'm fully active on Twitter. Seriously, at Gully TV One. Lewis says your channel was fire. Thank you. I worked very hard. He said Lakers is looking to trade. L shits and hanging knee raises, good money for the core. Planks just as much for ab work and sit-ups, yes. Boogie Cousins like the block and they don't want him down there. Homeboy be getting hurt sometimes. Good morning. West Coast, East Coast, about noon. He said, your post about DJ Screw was big. I'm hip hop. This is not regional coverage. This ain't like that. You get the whole shebang over here. You get the whole shebang over here. Believe that. Are you doing your burpees? Yes. I did four sets yesterday. Four sets of 10, but I did them at the end of my workout. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Evangel Hendricks, my man, long time no see. It's Sunday. Everybody's watching pro athletes today. So tune in to the dribble. He said that stair climber is the business. They have no idea. Been on here 13 minutes. He said, you're not making any progress. You look the same. You sound like you undressed me or something. You sound like you undressed me or something. I don't have that physique. I'm ripped. I'm ripped. He said, I look the same. You sound like a, a defiant blade, my nigga. Straight up. And I'll tell you something else. If you see a nigga in his 40s and he look the same, he in shape, stupid motherfucker. <laughs> if you see a nigga in his 40s and he look the same, that means he in shape. <laughs> Seriously. My friends don't look like me. <laughs> my classmates don't look like me. They don't. They don't. So, you know, if I look the same, cool. That's great. It's called maintaining. <laughs> he said, I'm about to try the stair climber today. Get to it. It's severe. You see my face. He said, got exposed by Don Pacino. Don Pacino is doing bad. He's misguided. And he deserved what he got. Niggas deliver me they videos. 
here break this for me like minnesota niggas deliver their videos to me like king odie and break this young hot why why would i try to steal a don pacino video <laughs> <laughs> I mean for real I paid that shit no mind That nigga was Dying for attention He didn't get it He still don't crack 5, 10,000 views To shit He said his little campaign was whack Nigga called me a culture vulture And I'm black Nigga called me a culture vulture And I'm black Come on Rodimash <laughs> can't, can't be serious. Can't be serious. Boom, boom, boom. He said, You feel like you was gonna die for 10 minutes? I'm straight, man. Do I look like I'm under duress right now? I'm talking to y'all. Yeah. Corny ass nigga talking about I'm a culture vulture. I was trying to help your corny ass. Niggas be disrespectful. I don't need you, my nigga. You need to dribble. Yeah. Thought that shit, that whole shit was stupid. And um, you just gotta keep devils away from you and shit. You know what I mean? Just cause a nigga say peace God, that don't make him righteous. Share this live. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, man. Gully TV One. Word. You seen the video, Slim One Hundred, Slim Four Hundred? I chose not to watch it. Yeah, he called me a culture vulture. I'm black. <laughs> I fuck. I'm gonna be a culture vulture, and I'm black. It's our shit. He said, Shaheem had the motion. That's the only reason I was even fucking with him. Cause Shaheem had a song with him. Nigga, I'm not trying to interact with you. You done failed already. If you eat right, fellas, you don't need Viagra in your 40s and 50s. Let's go, huh? Let's go. Listen to this nigga. I don't care. That's so true. He think because he's ripped, that's a sign of health. The weed is taking his appetite away. Making him eat junk food. Y'all hear this? Y'all are y'all listening to this nigga? Are y'all listening to this nigga? <laughs> Sickness. The devil is real, man. Sickness. I'm gonna leave you in here, man. Maybe you can pick up something. Maybe you can pick up something. Kendio, I think it's gonna be on Christmas. He said blocker. Nah, man, I love, I love, I love letting them ignorant niggas hang around. Let them talk until he blew in the face. It ain't gonna change his financial state. He not gonna get no bad or bitch. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga will cut off both his legs to jump in my shoes. Believe me. Nigga said I eat junk food like we hang out together. So. <laughs> Sickness. He said people don't want to see you do right. It's not his decision. I started at the juice bar. I started at the juice bar. It's almost just like a five dollar bottle of water and shit. You can't you can't describe what I eat, my nigga. You can't even afford my diet. You can't. You can't afford my diet. If I do eat junk food, it don't show. <laughs> he said the juice bar is pure sugar. I'm about to get you out of here. You being corny now. I'll holla at you. Let me get him up out of here. All right, cornball. You banished the pork them. 
advantage to pork them. He tried to shoot him. <laughs> look at him. He tried to shoot another message in. Y'all look. It says, hit me. You're blocked for life. Not going with your bad habits. <laughs> going with your bad habits. He said five guys got shot. When did that happen? Anybody that's being a part of a certain lifestyle, you might get shot. I got a nephew got shot last night. While I was on live. Boom, 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 boom. He said, I don't understand the hate. You should understand the hate. It's called niggas. Let me stop this for a second. It's called niggas. It's called ignorant, jealous niggas. When I leave here, I'm gonna go smoke the finest reefer. You feel me? I'm gonna eat a hundred a hundred dollar plate of food. I'ma put on the finest threads. <laughs> oh shit. And I'm gonna go do analytics. Said, enjoy your life. I am. We on it. I'm here with one of my homies from the fruit. Hold on. Shout out to the fruit Islam and shit. I still blend with them. I mean, I'm God body. I still be with my guys. But yeah, we on a Sunday, train to go. Thoughts on the new Makami tape? I got to, I got to determine exactly what it is to make people go in such a big frenzy about Makami. I ain't figured it out yet. Is that my people right there? JG, what's up, my nigga? He said, they rest, we prepare, we'll leave that. Believe that. How did you discover your lane? I'm a basketball player, man. I'm a point guard, man. I'm a natural athlete. And um, I just got the natural instinct to compete. Excuse me. And win. And I didn't want to be like the rest of these niggas, the guys that I started with. They all went on to great things. French Montana's a rapper. Arliss Michaels, the professional chiller. I had to just keep on keep it on and shit Trey was good huh professional chiller yeah that's Arliss Michaels you got the professional chiller series just type that into YouTube a couple episodes will pop up Shout out to Rome Streets, getting busy. He said, it's Arliss in here. He been here sometime, that's my guy and shit. He was with me when I when I was at Georgia Tech. That's who was filming me when I was at Georgia Tech, uh, Arliss. You need to put out more episodes. Me too. Me too. Should the Lakers trade? No. Figure it out. I wouldn't trade him. But I know DeAndre Jordan is capable of doing what we need done. I use avocado oil on my skin. Some people use shea butter, shea oil. I use avocado oil. I import it from the islands and shit. I got to order that shit from overseas. He said, my bro was the best in the state. Thousand points, thousand rebounds. That shit ain't hard, man. That's average. That's average. If he played four years, thousand points. I'm six foot probably with a goddamn near thousand boards in four, in four years. <laughs> this is for the elite, man. Shout out to your homeboy, though. But a uh, thousand points, that ain't nothing, my nigga.
should the Nets trade Kyrie and Harden? Should the Lakers trade Russ for disrespect and AI? Allen Iverson ain't better than no fucking Russell Westbrook. I don't care what none of y'all say. Yeah, he scored 50 points. Yeah, he took the, the Sixers basically by itself to the Eastern Conference Finals, to the, to the Finals, and dropped and drop 55 points. But that's what he do. Put 50 on a nigga. That's what he do. You dig what I'm saying? Westbrook does so much more. Westbrook does so, so much more. You go ask the niggas just forced to rebound every night what it's like to have that little nigga down there getting 12, 13 a night. That shit means something. Talk to me, TV. While they can smile. I got movie scripts, man. I've been working out of... I had a, a, a footlocker that I brought home from the prison system. I haven't implemented any new plans yet. Everything that I've done so far... It was in this book of plans that I brought home from jail and shit. My shit is already planned and shit, man. I'm just running through the chapters and shit. Westbrook averaged triple doubles for multiple years. You out your goddamn mind if you think Allen Iverson is better than that. You're bugging. You said the Bulls got the ass beat. The Bulls is one of the top teams in the East. I'm not going through it with y'all about that Westbrook shit. Y'all got to know basketball to understand. Let me get you up out of here. Let me get you up out of here. If you come in here sideways, I'm going to kick you out forever. I don't want you back. I don't want to hear I was playing or I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't want you around me, period. I don't want no cancers around me. No cancers. I don't want the black portion of YouTube around me. None of them. We can't do no interviews. I can't get on your clubhouse. I don't, nothing. I don't want nothing to do with you. If Westbrook and Iverson played one-on-one, -on -one, who you got your money on? Russ, you crazy? Iverson, skin, Iverson skinny, man. He can't. Russell Westbrook is made out of fucking muscle, man. I've seen Iverson in person. He's skinny as hell, man, with long ass arms. He's got abnormally, abnormally long arms. Russell Westbrook is a gorilla, man. Any advice on keeping your skin clear? Cardio. This is what I'm doing right now. Cardiovascular exercises, eating right your skin a chance to breathe and shit. Lakers took them niggas lightly game one. We would have swept. We would have swept Iverson and the niggas. The Lakers would have swept him. He dropped 55 points in game one. 53 I think. He said the hood always gonna pick AI. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Y'all think Iverson better than Isaiah? Hey, payroll, who you got? AI or uh, payroll, who you got? AI or Russ? You said you hit push-ups in the AM. I like to implement more push-ups. That's a very necessary exercise. I do push-ups when I'm doing burpees. Peace to you. Good morning. Y'all share this live stream. My man says Zeke over bubble chuck. Pray for your nephew. Thank you. I can't keep up with Kerr's music. He don't drop enough, in my opinion. Do you eat red meat? Not at all. Not even a spoon. <laughs> I ate some alligator last year. Russ should be a model in Italy.
how many burpees you do a day. I don't do them every day. I work out according to appearance. I work out according to appearance. I know how my t-shirts are supposed to, supposed to fit me. I'm a large, I, 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 um, I straddle a large and a medium. Anthony Davis is a disgrace to the big men. No, he not. He just playing basketball like these like these new niggas play basketball. I just was playing ball the other day. Right? I got into it with a nigga. Why? Because everybody want to run to the fucking perimeter. As soon as we come across court, the whole five run to the perimeter. The fuck is y'all doing? This ain't basketball, man. Get the fuck in the paint, man. Cut. Set a pick. What the fuck? Move around and shit. These niggas get out there and run straight to the goddamn perimeter and want a motherfucker to give him the ball. I'm not giving it to you. Boom, 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 boom. He said grabbing rebounds not the same as it was back in the day. It don't matter. Iverson didn't grab rebounds, period. So stop talking about it. He said, if you touch AD, something breaks. <laughs> he said, AD don't know he's 6'11". He still think, think he's 6'3". I heard he played guard back in the day. I heard he played guard back in the day. My homies I played football with just walked in and shit. Ballers want a pretty and light skinned game now. Yeah, they don't want to go down there and get greasy. Lakers team gonna look totally different in three years. <laughs> hey man, I just wanted to slide through and greet y'all, man. Peace on a Sunday. I gotta get to my workout now. It's time to do the burpees. And, um, you know, get your dribble right by all means. What's up with Vodka interview? Thousand niggas to interview Vodka, man. My platform is gonna continue to grow and escalate, man. Have you seen a nigga on another motherfucking platform? Multiple niggas platform? I don't want nothing to do with him and shit. You know, I don't. Gully don't have to tell everybody's story. Everybody's story don't have to come through here, man. Like, we need to stop doing that. Like, if a nigga, if St. Laz interview a motherfucker, that mean the rest of us shouldn't interview him. You know what I mean? Not right away. What happens is a lot of these niggas is trying to de develop some type of celebrity, right? And these niggas be thinking that they supposed to be on everybody's platform. It's niggas that didn't call me on it, 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 I mean hit me up on uh, Instagram niggas that hit me up on Instagram like yo man you know what's up man I love your work man I want to work with you this and this and that I'm like what the fuck you mean you want to work work with me you're not a rapper you want to work with me what you mean you mean you want me to tell your story to uh, advance your popularity so you can sell merchandise and do whatever you want to fucking do and shit that's true that's what you want from me you want to use me to advance yourself and shit and I ain't with it Some things I've been through available now on Amazon. That's my book. It's incredible. It's time for me to do the burpees. And, um, yeah. He said interview OGC. He said the most they can do is a drop at that point. Basically, yeah. Toronto made Sir, Serge Ibaka get his ass back in the paint and they want a chip. Indeed, they did. And you know what? Serge is big in that paint. And do you know that nigga's in the, um, 
Do you know he in the, uh, the D-League right now? Did y'all serve your in the D-League? They sent that nigga to the D-League, man. He was like, what'd he say? He said, if I was Kevin Durant, I can get hurt and come back as many as times I want. He said, but I'm not. So I got to go with, I got to grind for mine. Serge is in the D-League right now. Are you willing to mentor? I can't mentor nobody unless you pay me. I can't. I, I don't I don't have no interest in making a motherfucking life better. I don't. I want people to get the fuck away from me, man. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. Things go wrong when there's too many niggas in the room and shit. It's just a bad place. Whenever there's a bunch of niggas in the room, it's bad. Straight up. So, nah, I can't mentor you, not unless you pay me and shit. Uh, this, this platform, Gully TV, is hip-hop, sports, and fashion. You'll get some information from here, but nah. He said never say it for free. I have to say that to you because niggas be thinking that I'm going to work for free. Niggas be in my DM. I just got into it with a nigga. A nigga hit me up on, on Twitter. And he was like, yo, I see you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I was like, yeah, cool. You know, that's my job to follow niggas and see who doing what. That's my job. See who the next hot nigga. I said, yeah, I checked you. He said, did you listen to my music? I said, nah, I ain't listen to it. I check you out right now. I want to listen to his music. I messaged him back. I said, you got some dope shit. Peace. That was I was done talking to him. There's nothing for us to talk about. You asked me that I listened to it. I said it was dope. Peace. There's nothing else. There's nothing else for me to say to you. You see what I'm saying? When 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 he wasn't talking about no marketing or nothing like that, I got the fuck away from him. this nigga. Continued to send me different shit in my DM. Uh, I don't know what was his objective. Maybe he thought I was going to take a liking to him and profile him for free. I'm not. Um, I told the nigga, I said, my man, listen, my DM, my direct message is an extension of my office. Only thing I take care of in my office is business. If, this, if it's not business, don't send me nothing in my DM, fam, please. I said please to him and everything. Nigga caught an attitude, told me my head was on the chopping block and a whole bunch of other shit. This is right after he told me he was one of my biggest fans. You dig? So, because of shit just like that, I don't want no niggas around me. I don't. I just want my people around me. He said he want to keep shooting jumpers. KD got them boys trying to be seven foot guards. Exactly. You know what? Payroll, he the one that's probably responsible for it. He the one that's probably probably responsible for it. Um, Kevin Durant, Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki, them type niggas, the tall niggas that got game, could put the ball on the ground, could shoot. Everybody can't do that. Niggas seeing them do that shit, and they going to the gym and practicing to be like that. Boom, boom. He said Dirk responsible. Yeah, Dirk had a lot to do with it. He said, I remember watching a video of you saying that before. Man, this is business. I didn't start when the rest of these niggas started. I started in 2004. It's a fucking business and shit. I ain't got no time to be playing with these niggas. And this shit not for free. He said, Brad Sellers. <laughs> you got to be a real old school basketball fan to know about Brad Sellers. I thought Brad Sellers was going to help the Bulls. That nigga was just black. <laughs> just black and tall. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me get you. He said, yeah, let me get you. Jay Froze, I'll at you. Bye. You should know your worth. Do know my worth. I just kicked the nigga out of here for life. I hope you didn't like my platform, my nigga, because you can't talk here no more. <laughs> oh, shit. Give y'all about 45 minutes. He said, I dig the authenticity. I don't follow, I don't follow them, uh, my man. That tickle y'all, huh? Niggas don't deserve to be here, man. If you don't want to be here, just leave and shit. Why come over here? I don't think black, pla I mean, I don't think the white platforms, I don't think they go through a lot of the shit that we go through. You don't see uh, white platforms making videos about other white platforms. 
you never see Vlad making a video about Adam 22 and vice versa and shit. Them niggas be working together. Um, as far as us working together, I don't want to work with none of you niggas. I don't want to work with none of you niggas, man. If it ain't Doggy Diamonds, that's it. <laughs> if it ain't Doggy Diamonds, man, I don't want to work with you. You have to have an extensive resume similar to mine i can't pull nobody up niggas be looking to be pulled the fuck up um shout out to mel cross mel cross is thorough i was listening to mel cross speak and he was talking about exactly what i'm saying to y'all right now niggas be doing it to him trying to get him to come on a platforms and let's do this and other let's not do anything man let's get, get please leave me alone can we do that let's leave motherfuckers alone let's do that He said, I don't work well with others. I don't want to work with nobody, man. I believe I got enough talent, man, to sustain me, man. You know what I mean? He said, most of these people diss each other and talk about gang banging. I saw these niggas talk about his jail, gangs, and death. I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't. He said, black YouTube, everyone hates each other. Everybody don't hate each other. Niggas just be on here clowning and showing how retarded they is. How can you hate a motherfucker you never met? I never met none of these niggas. <laughs> I never met none of these niggas. I've met Doggy Diamonds. Um, we met, kicked it. I never met none of these niggas, man. I haven't. None of them. He said, I hate the hip hop YouTube community. I do too. I don't, I don't approve of what it is either. He said, but black people speak even if they don't want to. I don't care what they do. Just don't do it around me. I don't want you around me. If you don't have digital real estate, he called it digital real estate. That's a powerful statement. In 2022 and getting paid from it, then get y'all some business before ASAP, before the rules change. I agree with you. He said, damn, no more each one teach one. In order to receive each one teach one, you got to be in the cipher. I just told you, I'm concerned about my people and shit. You're not in my cipher. I can't give you nothing. I can't give you nothing. I only could prepare my people and shit. You know what I mean? You can't just be teaching everybody. You teach a nigga something, first thing, you want, third, first thing he wants to do is compete with you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't help a couple niggas in this business. Most of them eventually showed their ass to me and shit. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. The states is admiration and awe on a black whole black man morale you, you done fucked up that sentence fam you need to get that right my man said the metaverse owned by the pilgrims though fuck the metaverse the black man controls the universe fuck the metaverse i self lord master and shit. stop worrying about shit outside of you stop worrying about shit outside of you Work on introspection. You know what I mean? Your power, it's, it's already in you and shit. The cream rises to the top and shit. Work on perfection. You got it? He said they look at you as... Yeah, niggas be trying to... I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I'm not. Subscribe to the channel. Good morning, everybody. Appreciate y'all for coming through Football Sunday. Georgetown beat Syracuse yesterday. Shout out to the Hoyas. Um, 
I don't know. Just follow the website, www.therealtribble.com. You can get that merch over there. And um, I want I want to tell y'all who I interviewed last night so bad. I do. I'm going to just hold it and surprise y'all. Anyway, I didn't got dry and shit. I got to pump it back up and get up out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. You said, and dudes be mad weird. Westbrook's comments about being compared to Iverson. Russell Westbrook don't have to take no fucking down. He don't have to stand down to Allen Iverson. Russell Westbrook averaged fucking triple doubles for years at a time. He think he better than all them niggas. He think he better than LeBron and everybody. Do y'all know basketball? A nigga that averaged triple doubles is damn near superhuman. That's superhuman shit. If it's so easy to do, why don't LeBron do it? Why Russell Westbrook only six foot three and doing this shit? Tell me, tell me. The NBA is filled with niggas bigger than him, taller than him. LeBron ain't do it. KD can't do it. Hard can't do it. Do y'all understand what the fuck y'all saying? Russell Westbrook is a seriously freak athlete. Russell Westbrook could have played football and he'd have been a star. Could you imagine Russell Westbrook playing free safety? Imagine Westbrook playing free safety. Could you imagine taking a hit from Russell Westbrook coming across the middle? You could tear your helmet off. <laughs> Seriously, let's talk football for a bit. Imagine Russell Westbrook playing safety. Imagine him playing safety, yo. Who want that ball? Go ahead, throw it out there. Who want it? With Russ out there. Just to tear your ass the fuck up, man. Tear your hel helmet off your body, yo. He said Russell Westbrook is damn near a one and one. He is a one and one. He said, real talk, everybody big mad at Russ. He ain't got to stand down to Iverson. Iverson ended up playing for D Denver, the, the Grizzlies, the Pistons. Iverson left the league a damn near journeyman, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. He said LeBron did it in the final. Westbrook did it for whole seasons, man. That's it. We probably ain't gonna never see that shit no more. He said Westbrook is a throwback. He said until he, re he until he went a ring, winning a ring. That's that don't define everybody. Charles Barkley didn't give the ring. Carl Malone didn't get a ring. Gary Payton didn't get a ring. It's a billion motherfuckers who didn't get a ring. I don't think Iceman got no ring. It be like that. It be like that. You didn't win. So what? That don't mean you're not great. He said, like Marshall Falk receiving for a thousand yards, not counting the exceptional rushing yards that season. Marshall Falk was a freak. I'm glad you used him in comparison to Russell Westbrook. Some dudes just do it all, like Marshall Falk, a freak. Y'all remember them? Greatest show on turf, the St. Louis Rams. Give Marshall Falk a screen pass. Give him a little, little screen pass and a flat. Boop. And the nigga run all over the field and shit. He said Gary got a ring with the Heat, I believe. I think you're correct. I think you're correct. I think Tracy McGrady ended up getting one late too. Uh, Tracy McGrady probably got one with San Antonio or some shit like that. He said Ladanian Thomas was the same. Oh man, Marshall Falk, Marshall Falk, <laughs> Marshall Falk was a freak, man. You put Marshall Falk with like, you gotta mention him with like Barry and them dudes that run all over the place. He said T Mac didn't. Okay. The Rams is putting down their 50 points on teams' head every week. Yeah. Many would have wanted ring if it wasn't for Jordan. 
movie about the St. Louis Rams out now. Where that shit at? Somebody just just told me that Sean Alexander, Seattle uh, Seattle Seahawks, University of Alabama, number thirty-seven. He ran wild for a minute. Marion Barber played for the Cowboys. Appreciate y'all for coming through. That's my fifty minutes, man, on a Sunday, man. I just wanted to bring y'all here, get y'all dribble right. I gotta finish my workout, man. I'ma holla at y'all. Peace. He said it's about Kurt Warner. I'm checking that out.